Welcome back to Fast Money. A number of healthcare innovators making this year's CNBC Disruptor 50 list with Boston-based Elevate Bio landing the number eight spot overall. The biotech company is a one-stop shop for development and manufacturing of cell and gene therapies with applications for cancer, lupus, stroke, and more. It's also secured key R&D partnerships with pharma heavyweights like Moderna and Novo Nordisk and closed a $401 million funding round just last May. Joining us on set for more is Elevate Bio CEO and Chairman David Halal. David, great to have you with us. Congratulations Thanks. Uh, for Thanks making it number, number eight. We were just chatting in the in the break, and what I thought was interesting was this notion of this being sort of the, the foundry model of biotech. Um, and you're one of the few companies that do this in an era where, uh, for many, many reasons, we want to bring a lot of that stuff back to the United States away from places like China. Absolutely. You know, we when we founded the company seven years ago, we knew we were in the earliest days of the genetic medicine revolution. Uh, today, there's only a handful of these medicines that are approved by the FDA and regulators around the world. And yet, the FDA has approved like 20,000 drugs uh, in their history. Um, so we know the world is clamoring for more of these therapies because they can cure otherwise intractable diseases. And look, we saw what happened with semiconductors and other things. We want to build the foundry model here. So we decided to build the first of its kind foundry exclusively, exclusively dedicated to genetic medicines and democratize access to it to the entire biopharma industry. So there are efforts, legal efforts to force companies to bring a lot of that, a lot of R&D that is done in China on a contract basis back to the United States. You're saying that you're the only company that would do it here. So I'm, this would be huge for you. It, it is an enormous opportunity for us. Other companies do this in components, but Elevate disrupted the industry by establishing a tech stack and end-to-end -end scaled manufacturing capabilities and is offering it exclusively for genetic medicines to every biopharmaceutical company in the world. David, this seems to me like a bipartisan without question, but Homeland National Security play as well that everybody can sort of embrace. Do you feel that that's what you're onto here? It's a big deal for us. So we established our first next-gen biomanufacturing center in Boston. Uh, we broke ground last year in Pittsburgh, largely aided in, uh, in really an economic development effort uh, by a $100 million grant from the Richard King Mellon Foundation, the largest grant that the foundation has made in their 75-year history. And this will be in collaboration with the University of Pittsburgh. So we want to build the facilities here, hire and train the staff here, and develop as many of these next-generation genetic medicines in the U.S. as we possibly can. We mentioned a lot of diseases uh, for which you're doing, you know, different components of work, lupus, cancer, et cetera. What are some of the big drivers in your industry right now for you specifically? Yeah, so one, of course, is cancer. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at cells in, in a very personalized way, um, being from the patient suffering from cancer, those cells come to Elevate Bio, and we then engineer those cells in our clean rooms over a 10 to 14 day period of time. We must have maybe 30 uh, assays and release testing uh, work that happens on every single one of these patients, and then we wanna get them back to the patient as quickly as possible. Wow. In addition to cancer, Autoimmune disorders is right. a big opportunity, like lupus, like myasthenia gravis, multiple sclerosis, and type 1 diabetes. All of those genetic medicines right now are in-house at Elevate Bio, and we're powering them forward for the industry. 